Cool. All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, so for my placement, I have been volunteering on the youth team at Centre Point Church, and I've been given the responsibility of running the media team, uh, which means I oversight social media accounts for Centre Point Youth. A typical week for me would look like setting up our posting schedule on a Monday, posting content during the week, and delegating tasks between myself and Ben, who is my 2IC. Um, and we also have a core team meeting on Wednesdays where I communicate the plans for the week and uh, to Pastor Sam and Kelsey, who is our management coordinator. And I also receive tasks for the week to come as well as feedback from the weeks just gone. Um, in regards to the challenges that I've had over the season, as you all know, we're currently in um, self-isolation uh, during corona and it's definitely been a big adjustment having to work from home for myself. Um, home has always been a place where I usually go to escape work so I've had to learn to make it a place where I can be productive and um, find rest as well. I've had to rearrange spaces in my house to um, help me keep my brain active while I work and it's definitely been a challenge but I've been able to achieve that thankfully. digital space when it comes to all things youth ministry. So we've had to um, communicate all these changes online and um, our activity on our online accounts have increased, meaning um, we've got to check our interactions online more often. Uh, we've had to introduce new aspects to our Friday nights, uh, like live streaming and uh, our weekly Zoom connect groups. And in the past, we've had to rely on photos from events to be able to get our teens back or to just uh, hype up the night and get our teens interested in coming again. So we've had to think creatively to kind of come up with different ways to be able to um, draw them back to coming back online and coming back to youth on a Friday night. Um, something that I've been particularly proud of in regards to this season is um, we've upped our level of design, just making our graphics a bit more interesting and you are using our different like forms of um, social media to be able to connect with our young people. So for example, something that um, I've been able to implement um, was our Instagram takeovers that we do with our leaders. So we've been able to get them to do a takeover every Tuesday and uh, they've just been able to show our um, young people an insight into their lives and it's been a great way for them to connect with our teenagers and for them to uh, kind of see what a day in the life of our leaders have looked like. Um, so that's been a fun way to um, interact with our young people and I've also had to um, get better at uh, letting go of some projects myself and letting Ben take over some creative design stuff. So I've had to kind of let that perfectionist side of me go and communicate more with him and um, kind of uh, show him what to do rather than me taking everything on myself and leading him rather than doing things myself. So that's been a bit of a challenge for me, but something that I've been able to do and something that I've been able to um, get out of that is um, just knowing, knowing how to um, teach someone how to do something rather than just doing things myself. Um, I've also gotten better at addressing our wider youth team so I can um, encourage them to engage with our social media accounts and share what we post uh, so our young people know what they're doing during the week and also just encourage our leaders to connect with our young people online. Um, overall, my experience in the past few months has been quite exciting but also testing. I've always worked in a team environment, so having so going from working in the office and then having to self isolate was definitely challenging. But I've learned how to motivate myself and work on a schedule from home. I've also learned how to communicate. Um, that's been great because Ben and I usually work side to side, but shifting to weekly Zoom meetings and back to back voice messaging and photos was definitely an adjustment but it's been helpful because I've been able to learn how to give quick and constructive feedback. And it's also helped Ben in regards to his design skills. Um, and it's helped me strengthen my weaknesses as well and uh, be able to hand over stuff more easily. Um, overall, I'm happy with my placement and how it's going and I'm excited to see what's next.
That's awesome, Jeremy. Great report. Now let's have a couple of questions from people. Who wants to ask Jeremy a question? Yes, Neil. Uh, hear me? Yeah. 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 Jeremy, that was fantastic, mate. Well, especially the part where I like that, you know, because of this coronavirus, you've had to think outside the box. You've had to uh, find a way to connect with the youth through um, you know, technology and, and learning things that you'd never thought that you'd have to learn, you know? And it's also interesting to hear how you're training others to fill you know, roles you're leading and all that sort of stuff with others. Um, you know, that, that's, that's just awesome, in my opinion. Thank well you. done, mate. Um, for me, I really like that you said about um, how you kind of learn to sort of let go and delegate and, and kind of uh, kind of trying to go into a new area that you like from what you know about the designing part of it and give it to Ben and go and communicate and leading and all that was really good. I really actually received that as spoken to me. But uh, what I want to ask you is like, you would have a sort of vision for your team, like a, you've been given in charge of the team. So mm. you, in future, where you wanted to take the media team into? Um, yeah, that's a great question, actually. It's something that I've thought of too. Um, I really want the our youth team specifically to be a place um, of collaboration. So I really want people who join the team to feel like their voice is being heard and also a place where they can feel like they can come and... Um, just kind of learn and make mistakes because part of like the whole growing process is learning and um, just learning from your mistakes. So yeah, I just want people, I want people to be upskilled and I want people to like run with their passions and feel comfortable to like fail, but learn from it. That's good. Cool. Awesome. That's very good. Thank you. It was, it was really good. And uh, it's really good to know how it like, um, even in this season, you're able to work things around and you're able to still, you know, meet your objectives and meet the needs of the youth and, you know, just getting those other designs, you know, making it better and um, just following that, them up during the week. So I think it's uh, really good. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. That's great. Uh, anyway, we have another question. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, I'll, we'll leave it there for now.